Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I'm not even going to bore you with any excuses, but basically my kids are off school. So that's enough said, to be honest. I've actually had to send them away to the indoor trampoline place just to get some peace and quiet in this house. But I do apologize for leaving you guys hanging for so long. So I thought I'd come back with a little testing video, maybe answer some questions that I got on Instagram. And yeah, we'll just have a good old catch up, good little chit chat. This is a temporary tap, by the way. I just wanted to see how a wrist tap would look on me it's from inkbox i got it in a pr kit and i loved it so much this has been on for a week and it still looks very vibrant but anyway i ordered some more so if you see me with random tattoos pop up mind your business <laughs> do i even remember how to film i hope the footage comes out fine i haven't used this camera in nearly a month so honestly so of course on the brows is benefit goof proof brow pencil in the shade number five let's go ahead and move on to foundation so i have the clinique no what is this called even better clinical serum foundation i have two shades here one's too light one's too dark so i'm gonna go ahead and mix the two i have used this before but of course not on youtube so i'm gonna take one pump of the lighter shade and one pump of the darker shade this foundation literally smells like cake batter like you know when you're baking a cake and there's that kind of sweet cake smell this literally smells like that they are taking cake face to a whole nother level but look at that beautiful coverage it's definitely full coverage when i hear serum foundation i don't think full coverage but this definitely surprised me overall the finish and the coverage of this foundation is beautiful but it is unfortunate that i do have to mix two shades because of course if i did buy this i would have to buy two shades which is expensive i'm not sure if there's a shade in between these two but these are the two that i got sent anyway so yeah let's go ahead and move on to eyes so i actually got the ColourPop high tide palette i was so excited when i saw this in pr because i love these type of tones they're not green they're not blue but they're like teal you know super shock shadow duo that's in the collection and also the eyeliner pencils you know the cream gel liners from colourpop and then there's two super shock shadows which look like that so you get like a dark blue and then a turquoise type of shimmer so yeah we're gonna see what we can create here I'm gonna start off with my p louise eyeshadow base i also recently got sent the jaclyn hill summer collection along with the new kylie cosmetics reformulated products that she does so we're gonna try some of that in this video so first i'm gonna go into this heel mat here and I'm gonna tap that all over the lid it actually feels so weird to be doing eyeshadow because I've been doing a lot of cake liner looks recently that's applying beautifully nice and pigmented really opaque as well and then to blend that out I'm gonna take this light turquoise up here and just dust that on the edges blend it out Mm, I think I'm going to take the dark blue and literally tap that all over the lid as well just to add a little sparkle to this matte that we got going on Mm, that's quite a flat shimmer i was hoping it would have a little bit more sparkle a little pizzazz it's still nice but i wish it had a little bit more sparkle to it so i'm going to take this one as well and put it in the center of the eye and hope this just gives it a little pop yeah that's giving what i wanted it to give that is beautiful i like the combination of the two as well i actually have a new teal eyeliner in my brand makeup by tammy.com so i pulled it out and i thought maybe we can do like a wing liner i don't know if it's going to show up much against the teal that i already have on my eye but let's go ahead and give it a go so if you don't know i do have my own brand makeup by tammy cosmetics which is on makeup by tammy.com and we do cake liners these are literally five pounds super affordable you just add water and then you can just you know use it as a liner i also have palette versions of the cake liners so like a neon one a pastel one a dark stars one which has like dark grungy type of cake liners so i usually just squirt a little bit of water just a little bit some people use setting spray i wouldn't recommend doing that because they are water activated whereas setting sprays have like alcohol and other types of ingredients in it so it could potentially mess with the formula of the cake liners so just use a little drop of water and that will be enough i also have on flick brushes so they're like liner brushes to really help you get precise lines swirl the brush oh that was a mess swirl the brush in there i see sometimes people will use it too creamy and then it will drag on the skin but if you use it nice and liquidy uh, like a liquid liner like that type of watery texture it will glide a lot easier yes that's showing up beautifully against the teal background so that is the liner i think i'm also going to do a little something through the crease but i can't talk and do this because it requires concentration
So yeah, that is it for the eyes, guys. I'm going to go ahead and move on to cream bronzer next. So e.l.f. came out with their putty bronzers. I have two shades here. So I have Sunkiss, which is the darkest shade they do, I think, which looks like this. And I have used these already a couple times. So I'm like familiar with the formula. And then this other shade is Bronzed Bell. And this is a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellow tone than the other one. So I can use both. It just depends on how dark I want to go. So if I want more of a natural because they are quite sheer they're not as pigmented as my other cream bronzers so if I want to go more of a natural everyday tinted moisturizer and add a little bit of definition to my face I would use this one bronze bell but if I'm going for more of a contoured chiseled look I will go for the darker one sun kiss so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one so you guys can see it on my skin tone um, and then I'll go in with the darker one to just deepen it up a little bit so I've seen people applying this differently I've seen people like scraping some out and then applying it across their face so you would get more of a pigmented look that way I guess because you're using more product but I personally just dip straight into you know the product and get my brush loaded up and then just simply press it into the areas that I want it to go into I just find that it's a little less messy that way I don't have to scoop anything out um, and the product applies almost like it's blended almost like it's diffused already so you see the tone of this one is almost like my foundation shade it has that olivey undertone it's not too red it's not too orange it just looks really nice and like a natural bronze but I do really love the way that these kind of blend on they're quite sheer they're not as pigmented as other cream bronzers that I have but I do like that about it i feel like there's space for it in my collection so i'm gonna take the deepest shade sun kiss and literally just deepen that up not too much because i'm not really going for a super bronzed look but i'm just going to deepen up this side so you guys can see the difference so can you guys see the difference between just bronzed bell and sun kiss so sun kiss is definitely deeper they are very dewy so i would personally set them but if you do have oily um dry skin this might just be perfect for that glowy bronze sun kiss look but if you have oily skin definitely recommend setting them because i'm sure you guys can see that glow on the skin so it's quite a wet formula so i don't have a new concealer so i'm just going to use my oma beauty concealer this is a new shade i did used to have a lighter shade that was really really bright for me but i've got one that is like perfect for my skin tone and this is bronze venus t2 just want to make sure i clean up any blue underneath my eyes so i don't get it mixed into my concealer so you see the shade is like the perfect yellowy golden undertone one thing to note about this concealer is that it's going to dry down quick so you want to make sure you blend it in quickly do not leave it to set it reminds me of like the elf camo concealer or the tarte shape tape that kind of dry down quick or l'oreal more than concealer those full coverage matte dry down concealers so don't mess around blend it out then i'll just take the brush that i had my foundation on and blend in between the bronzer and the highlight so they all blend and mix together oh my god i just remembered i said i was going to answer questions that i got on instagram let me quickly grab those okay so before this starts creasing i'm going to quickly set that in place so i got this powder recently from technic i'm so fussy about powders i really don't like trying new powders especially when i like my base because sometimes it can just go left but I'm willing to give this a try. So it's water resistant pressed powder in the shade hazelnut. So it looks like this, but it looks light enough to go underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna try and use this to just set before I go in with my loose powder. Hopefully this works and I'm gonna press it. Okay, it's not too dark. I thought it was gonna be too dark, but I think I can go in with this first and then go on top of it with a loose powder to brighten up. Do you know what I mean? That's so flawless look at that guys it's mattified it's smoothed that looks beautiful so yeah i'm gonna use this let me grab a question do you want more children okay so i was when i was younger like right after having twins i was like no more i'm done i don't want any more kids but as i've gotten older i think i do want to experience it one more time just because i was so young when i had twins i don't feel like i got to take in the experience that much and it was quite a hard time for me because obviously i wasn't financially stable um you know my housing situation like i didn't have a car i was on the bus with a double buggy and when i tell you that's the most stressful 
thing to ever go through like okay maybe that's a little bit dramatic not the most stressful thing to ever go through but trust me at the time it was so stressful because if there was another buggy on that bus or if there was a disabled person on that bus I could not get on so I cannot explain to you how many buses would just pass me by it would be pouring down with rain I will be standing at that bus stop three buses would go by but because someone else with a buggy was on I couldn't get on one time I actually got on the bus and the bus driver tried to tell me why don't you just take the buggy down how am I meant to hold two kids and take the buggy down I would have to give my kids to someone on the bus to hold which is just embarrassing I was just like yeah so we ended up grabbing like a 500 pound car just to get around in I'm so thankful for where I am financially today like I had to, I signed my kids up for swimming class recently because they really wanted to go and I had to pay 200 pounds because it was 100 pound each you had to pay like a um, advanced pay a two-month advanced fee um, and yeah I had to just drop 200 pound boom like that and it was like wow what if I didn't have this money my kids wouldn't have access to swimming lessons or you know extracurricular activities just going in with the Too Faced powder now to kind of brighten the under eyes a little bit but yeah it really just got me thinking like when your parents have money it really does give you access to certain things and certain experiences in life that other people just don't get do you know what I mean but yeah anyway we have decided that we do want one more in the future after we've you know traveled a little bit I do want to see a little bit more of the world before I settle down to have another kid so we came to an agreement me and my fiance that we are going to travel see a bit more of the world you know different continents and stuff and then we'll come back and have one more, maybe when we're 30, hopefully, God willing, 30-ish, 32, 3, 4, maybe. <laughs> Guys, I can't explain to you how flawless my skin is looking. I hope it's coming across perfect on camera because in real life, smooth is not even the word buttery smooth maybe is the word so for powder bronzer i got the new kylie cosmetics i got like a package of her lipsticks highlighters blushes bronzers and eyeliner pencils so i'm gonna show you guys the shade 400 and 600 because i think 400 is actually darker than 600 so if you were looking to oh i think she's available in the uk now as well in selfridges yeah these are the two i mean they're still not deep and dark it's not very inclusive in my opinion because these are these are like medium tan but apparently these are the darkest shades well it's the darkest shades I got sent anyway so this one is 600 and this one is 400 so you guys can see it is slightly darker than 600 so if you were looking for the darkest one it would be four not six but I think because I've already got the um, elf cosmetics bronzer down it should just grab to that and mm, it is showing up just ever so slightly i can see it on my skin tone have you created any new makeup palettes i mean like every typical influencer just gonna have to wait and see you know how it goes can't say anything so Kylie also came out with blushes, but once again, I don't think that the shades are vibrant or deep enough to show up on deeper, darker skin tones. This is the only one that I thought maybe possibly would show up on me. And this is in the shade we're going shopping and it's like a peach, but even then it's still a very light peachy pink. I feel like it's just gonna give that very light cheek look that I don't really love. Yeah, it's definitely giving pinky vibes. And in real life, it's not super visible. Like it's not giving what it's supposed to give. I mean, I'm not really living for her shade ranges, to be honest with you, when it comes to like the blushes and bronzers. You know what, before I forget, let me go ahead and open this Jaclyn Hill Summer Collection and see if there's anything in here we can use today. I think she does also have highlighters in here and I think they are the super shock like ColourPop highlighter formula, like a putty type of highlighter, which are my favorite. Such a shame about this uh, summer collection with the bronzer shades, like, and I hate that people were trying to justify it with, oh, she's a small brand, she's only released five shades. Five shades is enough to be inclusive. You can literally do, what, one fair, light, medium, dark, deep dark. Like you can evenly spread it's just so disappointing because I was actually becoming such a big fan after the blush collection that she did I was becoming such a big fan of her products because I fell in love with those blushes the cream blushes the loose powder blush I've been using every single day it is what it is so yeah this is what it looks like we've got the highlighters here the lip oils down here the liquid uh, highlighters which I don't tend to use in my makeup routine anyway and then the cream bronzer so i'm going to show you guys the two darker shades of the cream bronzers there's no point in me swatching all of them because we know 
it's not gonna work so i might as well give them away to someone that can get use out of it so i'm just gonna swatch the two darker shades so the darkest shade is sunny which looks like this and it is kind of like a warm do you know what this feels like it feels almost like a primer that type of blurring primer silicone -y type of feel like a gel cream so as you guys can see it's literally like my foundation shade with a really orange undertone so it wouldn't show up on me as a bronzer like the elf ones did i feel like it would just look like i have the wrong shade of foundation and bear in mind i swatched this on the lightest part of my hand as you guys can see my hand goes from dark to obviously lighter here so that's why it's showing up so much here but yeah this is the darkest shade and then to basically say you don't have darker shades because you're not educated in deeper skin it's like you didn't even try you didn't even try and the whole I'm expanding the range later drives me insane and then the shade before sunny is toasty and this one is literally my foundation shade that's actually a great foundation match for me so these are the two darker bronzers in Jaclyn's line compared to elf of course I know elf is a bigger brand but it's not about the size of the brand it's about how many you have in the range elf had five or six Jaclyn had five you could have done better but what we are going to use however is the putty highlighters so there's four shades this one is star power which looks to be like a light gold champagne very pigmented definitely feels like the ColourPop super shock highlighters this one is super light and icy and this is glazed out then we have sky lit which would probably be the shade that i want to use that looks beautiful these are very reflective very metallic they're almost giving like foiled eyeshadow vibes so hopefully i can sheer it out because i do prefer more of a sheer wash of highlight rather than highlight you know and then last but not least we have sun lover which is the yellowy gold so let me swatch that there so these are the four shades i've only taken a little bit because i don't want it to be super intense i like to kind of have a soft wash that actually looks really nice bear in mind that ColourPop super shock highlighters are my all-time favorite highlighter formula so i'm gonna go ahead and stick some lashes on probably do my lower lash shine and then i'll come back to you so we can finish off with lips okay so lashes are on i think i'm gonna leave the lower lash line bare i might add a little bit of mascara but as for color i want to keep it just at the top what i am gonna do however is take one of this one here i'm gonna take this shade and put that on my inner corner just to brighten that up a little bit someone asked me how do you stay inspired as an upcoming creator um i freak out lots of times honestly don't overthink anything and look for inspiration everywhere like literally yesterday i saw a butterfly in my garden it was black and it had like white detailing with white i mean not white orange detailing with white dots and i literally was like that would make such a beautiful eye look so just try and look for inspiration anywhere get inspired by other creators nowadays it's not bad to copy do you know what i mean like you can literally just create a similar look maybe change up the colors and just tag the person as your inspiration like there's no offense taken i don't think i feel like back in the days copying used to be such a big deal um but now it's like with tiktok and you know everyone doing the same type of trend it's easier to just do something similar to what someone else has done and then just tag them inspired by do you know what i mean so if you find something on instagram that you really like the look of even if you see one of my looks and you want to recreate it in your own way with your own colors or even the same exact colors as long as you kind of say inspired by or like you know tag the person then you're gucci you're good do you know what i mean and don't over think things i feel like sometimes that's what happened with me with youtube these past few weeks once you've been away or once you've stopped doing something for a while you start overthinking when you when you come back it needs to be like the best look you've ever done or the best video you've ever filmed and you put so much pressure on the content that you're creating just have fun with it film what you want to film or do looks that you want to do if you wrote like i usually write a to-do list every day rather than for the week because everyone's different some people will write their week to-do list but i feel like when i do that i wake up that day and it says film youtube video but if i don't want to film a youtube video that day i get in a mood i'm like oh that youtube video oh i have to film that tiktok oh so i just wake up that morning what do i feel like doing today oh i really want to do that you know try in liquid blusher trend on the forehead or whatever the trend that i want to do or whatever video i want to do i'll do it that day because i'm in the mood to do it if i'm not in the mood to do it girl it just becomes a chore <laughs> someone said how have you been sis and does your neighbor still have their backyard zoo they do but i feel like they've been a lot quieter there's been no peacocks or birds in my garden so i feel like the council has done their job because we did complain to the council that there was always birds and animals in my garden um and they haven't been 
over since and the noise hasn't been as severe it's been a couple roosters in the mornings but nothing throughout the whole day so it's gotten better thankfully sorry i want to put some earrings in quickly but um yeah as for how i've been i feel like i i feel the best i've ever felt inspiration wise work wise life wise like everything's just good right now and that's amazing my cosmetic business is flourishing we're adding a new product hopefully in august sometime um which i'm super excited about you guys are gonna love it but anyways we'll talk about that when that comes out but um yeah my cosmetics business is flourishing i'm flourishing you know my family's flourishing my kids are growing everyone's healthy everything's good you know let me quickly grab one of the kylie lip kits one sec so they sent over these lip kits i think there's six colors in here i'm gonna go for candy k but i'm gonna have to use my own lip liner because this one's not gonna work for my skin tone so i'm gonna use mac chestnut and also with the Kylie lip kits, if you don't want to buy the lip kit, you can just buy the liquid lipstick individually. So if the lip liner won't work for your skin tone, you can just buy the liquid lipstick. I've never tried her liquid lipstick formula before, so let's give it a go. Well, that was easy. That applies nicely. It's nice and thin. It's a really thin formula. Not sticky at all, but of course we'll see how it dries down. I'm not a matte person, so to be honest with you, I'm probably going to top this with a gloss, especially as I have the new Vive Lip Dew Gloss. Anyways, I'm going to top my lip with the Vive Lip Dew, which is a glossy gold lip gloss. Oh, by the way, this uh, Kylie lip kit is not sticky at all. The lip, li liquid lipstick, very comfortable to wear. But this Vive gloss, not only does it smell amazing, the doe foot is lovely. The glitters actually come across nice. They're not super glittery, but they're also not invisible. They're actually a really nice, like, it's a nice formula. I really like this lip gloss. I mean, at this point, I am a huge Vive fan. Everything they come out with, I just trust that it's going to be quality. Do you know what I mean? And this lip dew is no exception. Even by itself, not on top of anything else, it's a beautiful, beautiful gloss. But yeah, that is everything, guys. Let me go ahead and get out of here before my kids come running through that door and I can't get an outro film. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.